Hey, Pastor Steve Aldrin, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. Marvin Sanguinetti, I hope I got that name right. He's from the UK. I think he's a reader at Cambridge University. Great stuff. Phenomenal. I highly recommend this book. And it's Patterns of Christological Categorization, Oneness Pentecostalism, and the Renewal of Jewish and Christian Monotheism, Marvin C. Sanguinetti. He's also got some good videos out on YouTube. I noticed that David Reed left him because he's very big in the Oneness Pentecostal studies. Both his parents were UPC ministers. And so Reed is Professor Emeritus and Research Professor at Wycliffe College, University of Toronto. This book methodologically transforms a troublesome Pentecostal outlier into a contributing ecumenical partner. This is a first in Oneness Pentecostal studies and a must read. And then also the suffragan bishop Lloyd G. Thomas, Sr., prelate for the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World in London, says this study offers a novel approach to scholarship among Oneness Pentecostals and should impact not only academia, but different tiers of Christian leadership within and without the tradition. And it's just fantastic. I've got so many places marked, it would be impossible for me to read them all without reading a bunch of the book. This is on page 97. He goes into Bauckham. This is Richard Bauckham. Identified three further New Testament passages for the Christology of divine identity. Romans 3.28-30, 1 Corinthians 8.1-6, and John 10.30. These often are said to enunciate the Jewish Shema and depict the identity relationship between God and Jesus. So... I think that's just fantastic. Bauckham thinks that the New Testament writers presuppose the kind of Jewish monotheism found throughout early Second Temple literature. Their Christological innovations proceeded from the basis of these presupposed monotheism without any intention to deviate from it. So you can just see from that little less than a paragraph what he's dealing with here. Just fantastic. He's very good with Greek. I don't know about Hebrew, but I do know he is with Greek. Um, so you go into this Yahweh is a cod compound one in covenantal relationship to Israel but Yaquid numerically one in his being and he's got different you know footnotes for that in opposition to traditional Deuteronomistic interpretations of the Shema Bora argues for an early pre-exilic dating of Deuteronomy suggesting that its authorship is better situated before the Josianic reforms of the 7th century BC. Citing similarities in the genre between Deuteronomy and Hittite treaty Near Eastern law codes, the latter two believed by scholars to be earlier writings in Deuteronomy, Bora saw the modern scholastic consensus for dating Deuteronomy as a 7th century document at best as hypothetical. So that's kind of dealing away with JPD theory and the non mosaic authorship of the Pentateuch. This is, and there's so much. In search of def deification language in Paul's rhetorical world, Bernard, this is David Bernard, explored the honorific titles, names, and their meanings uh, Christ, Yahweh, Lord, Jesus, Spirit, Image of God, Glory of God. Uh, on and on, situating these in the context of both Palestinian and Hellenistic Judaism, while referencing the Old Testament, Septuagint, Second Temple Period, Apocryphal, Pseudepigraphal, and Dead Sea Scrolls. Bernard suggests in agreement with Hurtado that deification language for Jesus was early in Palestinian Judaism, which was Hellenized by the Common Era and did not alter the strict monotheism of the Jews. So, that's just fantastic. So for one, this, this is well over 200 pages long, has an extensive, extensive bibliography. I'm sitting here looking at like Frank D. Machia, Baptized in the Spirit, a Global Pentecostal Theology, uh, the Oneness Trinitarian Pentecostal Doctrine and Introductory mus Musings of an Editor, Numa 2008, um, Nathan McDonald, One God or One Lord, Deuteronomy and the uh, Meaning of Monotheism, um, just so much. 
Gordon McGee is Jesus in the Godhead or is Godhead in Jesus? Ralph P. Martin, Brian Dodd, when Christology began essays on Philippians 2, which he's got a real good section on Philippians 2 in here. McGrath is in here. Multimon, Frank Ewart, Greg Boyd, Robert Bowman, and so books and journals. So just outstanding. And uh, this is an expensive book because I think it's a textbook. But uh, I would definitely, if you're interested in the study of God, you need this in your library. Whether you're for or against oneness Pentecostalism, it's that good. So God bless you. We love you. Fall in love with Jesus. He's the one true and living God. God in flesh. In him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. You're complete in him. And when you've seen him, you've seen the Father. Love you. God bless. Bye-bye.